Good evening, and welcome to the Albert Gallatin High School Spring Band Concert. We ask that you please turn off all cell phones and electronic devices during the performance. Also, please keep the aisles and exits clear at all times. And now, the Fine Arts Department is proud to present the AGHS Colonial Band.
appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the first two tunes thus far. Uh, the next tune that we're going to do for you, as you can see in your program, is entitled Hymn for the Lost and Living. And this is by one of my favorite uh, modern brass composers, Eric Wazin. And what he says about this piece is that it is intended to be a memorial for all the lost souls who are gone from this life, but are forever treasured, displaying the power of music to portray so well the things that are not easily put into words. When I picked this piece, I did so because I believe in that sentiment. I wanted the kids to be able to learn uh, from a piece of music that, that, that speaks about something important. And this piece was written by a composer who lived in New York City during September of 2001. Now, these young people, many of whom uh, were, some of whom weren't even alive yet, probably none of whom can remember those events. However, um, this past week, our band family uh, suffered a, a very tragic loss of uh, one of our dear members. I think our students understand the sentiment. I think our students desire to, to play a memorial for all the lost souls who are gone from this world, but also, as it says, him for the lost and for the living. Music is meant to be a part of the healing process. Um, I hope that this piece is able to, to help the healing process um, for some young people who have experienced something that they should never, ever, ever have had to. We dedicate this performance to not just Kyler Catlett, but all of his family, all of his friends, and, uh, and everyone who's been touched or hurt by that loss.
Barbara Seville is one of the most famous and beloved operas of all time, and its overture has been performed countless times by a variety of ensembles. However, the famous overture was actually recycled from two earlier Rossini operas, and thus contains none of the thematic material in the Barbara Seville itself. Please enjoy as the AGHS Chamber Ensemble performs the classic overture to the Barbara of Seville.
As always, thank you for coming. Um, I do want to rectify something because invariably I always make mistakes. I like when they're small ones. Um, in the program, I misspelled Jared Stahl's name. I'm sorry, Jared Stahl. So it's, it's spelled incorrectly. I'll let him kick me in the shins like 30 times tomorrow. You have my word. This time I think, yeah, we're doing some gift giving. Thanks, I didn't know you were giving me a gift. Thank you. Hi, good evening everyone. If you don't know who I am, my name is Genesis Mahako, um, and I will be speaking on behalf of our senior band members tonight. I decided to write down what I wanted to say for Mr. Grosso because I honored him at our scholars banquet and I didn't write anything down and it was a little bit tragic so I decided to write it down this time. So, um, I promised I would make this brief so I'll do my best. Um, I'm just going to paint a picture for you guys. So the senior class here that we have, we've gone through three band directors in the last four years that we've been here. But honestly, there's no better person to be here than Mr. Durso. Mr. Durso is not only teach, teaches us students about music, as in notes and rhythms, but he teaches us the value, the expression, and the power of music. And that alone is something we're all extremely thankful for. There are many things that we could thank Mr. Durso for, but here are the ones that I find to be the most important. Thank you for caring, for motivating us, for challenging us, for allowing us to call you CD Squiggle, for the great memories, for the amusing phrases you've told us, for having faith in us when no one else did. But, um, but most of all, thank you for being you, and although your gift isn't Taylor Swift tickets, also, sorry Mallory, they aren't Taylor Swift tickets, I believe this survival kit will help you move forward to excel as already as you already do with a small cushion to fall back on. We appreciate you immensely, and this gift is just a bunch of things to help you stay organized because we know you're not very good at that. <laughs> It's just, it's not a concert. Okay. I think that's you, Joe. Sorry. In 1893, John Phil Sousa was inspired by watching his son march in the parade celebrating the return of the Liberty Bell to Philadelphia. It has since become one of his most popular marches. You will also hear the band perform this march at this year's Memorial Day parades.
In The Trail of Dreams, Robert W. Smith conveys the grandeur and excitement of America's westward expansion on a trip along the Union Pacific Railroad. This piece features Desiree Stroud on piano, as well as solos by Bobby Sutton, Jessica Weslowski, and Genesis Mahalka.
Before we play our last tune, I have a couple of thank yous that I would like to make. Um, first of all, as I've said, thank you to all of you for coming out tonight. Um, without you, we're not able to do this. And I mean that not just for you as uh, people who are coming to listen to us play, but as the parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles and friends and family, people who provided rides, and uh, more importantly, people who support these young people to do uh, what they do. I, I appreciate you, they appreciate you, thank you very much. I'd also like to thank our Albert Gallman administration, and I mean from the top down, um, our superintendent, our school board, our principals here, uh, when we as a music department say that we need to get something done, they always do their absolute best to make sure that that happens, and, uh, and I couldn't be more grateful to work in the district that I do. I want to thank uh, Mr. Nuttall and AGTV. They always uh, record everything that we do. we got multiple cameras going on here. I'm very lucky to have him as a colleague and as a friend, so thank you, Mr. Nuttall. Um, I also want to extend thanks to a person who's not here. Uh, Don Green is the band director at Yawk High School, just up the road. And uh, we recently had, took some of our students to an honor band called Fay West Honor Band. It's Fayette County and Westmoreland County. And uh, he conducted a piece called Rampage, which you're about to hear. Um, our kids liked it so much, and I told him, I said, yeah, my kids really like uh, the piece that you picked. A week and a half later, I opened my mail, and there it is, with, uh, with a note from him saying, play away. Uh, so I want to thank Don Green for, uh, for providing this piece for us. I want to thank my AGHS band boosters. I have a great boost organization. Every band director I talk to goes, hey, how's your, how's your boosters? I say they're fantastic. They do everything we need and absolutely more. So thank you to all of you. Um, I also want to thank the music faculty here. Um, and that means everybody who is a part of this music department. We're really lucky. Uh, we're all not just friends, but we all have the same vision for Albert Gallon to just provide fantastic music education. I couldn't do what I do if it wasn't for my fantastic middle school band directors doing some great teaching at the beginning level, so thank you to you guys. I want to thank Wyatt Wilson, my assistant band director, um, personally, because this guy uh, shares my vision wholeheartedly, and anytime I have a question, I have an idea, and I'm not sure if it's a really a good one, I give him a call. He's always there to help. Um, he goes probably underappreciated a lot of the time, so thank you, Wyatt. And uh, finally, I want to thank a person who probably gets absolutely no credit whatsoever for the success of my pro program, which should probably get like 50% of it, and that's Mr. Joe Andrea. Um, every idea that I've ever had that's been good has been because I've uh, run it past him, and he always helps me to work out the details, and every idea that I've had that's bad, he goes, let's tweak that a little bit. Um, it's inspiring to work alongside of you. Thank you so much for everything you do, and he's back there running sound and announcing for me today, so uh, thank you so much, Joe. This one, yeah, yeah. Give me a round of applause to everyone out there. This is our final song for the night, and so therefore it is the final song that these seniors will play on this stage. Um, I would like for you to take a moment to applaud the seniors that we have here in the song. Guys, thank you for your gifts, thank you for your kind words, and uh, thank you more importantly for welcoming me. Um, I have never, from the minute that I set foot in here, not felt like I was your band director. Um, you probably don't understand how much that means, uh, but I, I hope that you do. Uh, you guys have been a pleasure to work with, each and every one of you. Um, we're going to miss you, but you left behind quite a legacy. So I'm like, what could be the last piece that they play? What could be the last piece that encapsulates the spirit of this senior class? Better than one called Rampage. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it as much as they do.